Google Apps is a set of business productivity tools, including email, calendar, the ability to create and share documents, and so on. You access all of these powerful tools through a web browser, which means they're available to you wherever you go, from a mobile device or from a tablet or from your PC. There's no need to carry any data with you because all of this is kept in the cloud and available for you whenever you need it. This is Gmail, and we're looking at the inbox at the moment. I'm going to show you a few ways that Gmail can be used to increase your productivity and speed up your working day as you manage your emails. There are some unique features that Gmail has to, to make life easier for you. Uh, the first one, if we open this email called Project Information, you'll see this has information about three different projects with code names Pumpkin, Turnip, and Watermelon. Now, in a traditional email system, you might have a hard time filing this message away because you can only put the message into one folder unless you create copies or forward it to yourself or, or some convoluted method like that. Gmail overcomes this problem by allowing you to label messages with multiple labels. I can do that a couple of ways. One is from this label menu here. I can select pumpkin and turnip as an example and apply those labels. You see they appear at the top of the mail here. I can also use drag and drop so I can grab the watermelon label from the left hand side and drop it onto the message and it also applies the watermelon label. This has the effect of making this email visible in each of these views on the left hand side. So you might think of these as folders. They behave just like folders, although in Gmail we call them labels. So when I click on watermelon, you see the message is here. And when I click on turnip, the message is here as well, as it is in pumpkin. It's also still available to me in the inbox. As you'll see here, it is still in the inbox. And the inbox itself is just another label. So. What this allows me to do is just keep one copy of the email, so that saves space, but it's visible to me in all of those different locations. And that allows me to have quite granular organizational structures and allows it, uh, makes it easier for me to, to find things when I need to. Now, maybe I want to get this out of my inbox because uh, I, I like a, a tidy inbox, and, and once I've organized something into a particular label, I want to get rid of it from the inbox. So I could just uh, remove the inbox label, or alternatively, I can click this Archive button at the top here. Now, archiving in Gmail terms really just means taking it out of the inbox, removing the inbox label. If you're familiar with the traditional email systems, what archiving usually means is I've got to take it right out of my mail system and put it somewhere else, maybe in an, a, a file on my C drive or in, in an external archive storage system somewhere. That's usually the case because you have a limited amount of storage space available to you in your email. Uh, this isn't usually a problem in Gmail because as we look down at the bottom here, uh, each and every user has 25 gigabytes of storage space available. So unlikely to run out of space anytime soon. So when I click on archive here, all that's happening is it's removing the inbox label, taking that mail out of my inbox view, but it's still available to me in the mail system. It's still online alongside of all of my other mail. And I can find it either through the folders, as we saw before, and put in pumpkin, turnip, and watermelon. Or I can conduct a search for it and, and find it that way. <laughs> 